Hello everybody, and again, apologize for me not being in the main picture, but actually that's probably a blessing for you. Uh, today I'm reviewing a small little pint-sized um, practice amp from Orange. Um, this is the Orange Crush 12 amp, and it is the smallest of the Crush amp line. This guy uh, is, uh, I would say, probably... 5 by 12 by maybe 10 in size so it's a small compact little practice amp uh, very attractive mesh front to it with the orange logo on it and on the back it has simply a, a, a power button an on and off power button and a place to imp, you know to plug in the power cord which comes with this the DC power so this guy is not battery operated it's a very, very basic analog amp. Um, it does not have a guitar tuner on it. So again, it's bare bones. And I think it, uh, the attractiveness of this amp is the fact that it is bare bones. So this particular guy, um, again, is an all analog amp. It has a 6-inch speaker uh, in it. It's 12 watts. Um, it has a neat function on the uh, on the amp, which I'll get into when I go over the uh, the features. This thing weighs uh, 10.4 pounds, so it's very light. Um, it's a single channel amp, and again, uh, it, it 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 has a nice um, heavy duty vinyl um, covering to the cabinet all around this thing with these black plastic. Um, protectors on the ends of the amp. So it's an attractive looking amp. It comes in this, you know, traditional orange color or black. I like the orange to stay traditional, so I ordered the orange. The, um, let's get into what the amp has in terms of features on it, which is again, very basic. So as you can see, it comes with this um, carrying uh, strap on the top uh, of the of the amp so it does have an, a handle um, it has an input again single input on it it has a gain knob right next to it uh, going from uh, you know the right on your screen to the I guess to the um, or the left to the right it has a overdrive channel and it has an EQ section which is made up of treble middle and bass and then it simply has a volume uh, control uh, and then a phones jack. Now on this phones jack, I'm going to put the amp down for a second. On the phones jack on, jack on the amp, it has the ability to emulate um, a cab, a 4x12 orange cab. So it's really neat when it's in the headphone, when you have headphones plugged in, you get this 4x12 uh, cab emulation on the amp. All of the um, Crush series amps have that capability. So I find, you know, I find that pretty, um, pretty interesting um, that it comes with that feature. Uh, what else? Other than that, it's really um, a basic little practice amp. Again, it's not one that has any digital effects on it. It's an all analog amp, so you're not going to get echo, you're not going to get reverb, you're not going to get chorus, it's not going to, you know, emulate a gazillion different uh, a bunch of amp, amp types, um, you simply get that, um, you know, that uh, pure orange sound, which is really what um, what people buy this thing for. It gets um, it gets pretty close to, you know, the uh, the orange um, tones that people like out of the amplifier. Now, you're going to hear nothing like it on this video, unfortunately, because um, my, my audio setup with my cam here is, is horrific. But... Um, there are plenty of videos on YouTube that have great demos of this amp and, and, and will show you what type of sounds you can get out of it. Now I will just plug it in just to run through some cleans and, and some distortion sounds just to give you a feel for the amp. But again, there are much better um, videos on YouTube that will give you a full-blown demo of the amp's uh, sound uh, capabilities and, and what you can dial in on this amp, okay? So I'm going to plug my guitar in, I'm going to put it down and I'll give you some uh, uh, some ideas of what this thing sounds like. So I will be back in uh, two seconds when it's connected. Okay, so I'm back with the uh, the amp connected. Um, the amp's not in the picture, um, but it basically has the volume set to around 11 o'clock. 
and everything else is uh, just straight up in terms of the treble, middle, and bass. Uh, there is no overdrive on here, and uh, and gain is set to maybe uh, nine o'clock, so very little gain as well. Okay, so it's really this is the clean tones out of the amp. So again, if you're looking for an amp that will give you, you know, basic cleans and basic distorted sounds, simple controls, um, it's a good buy. It's something that is definitely worth looking at. You're not going to break the bank. These things are going for right now uh, about um, oh, $99 on Amazon and eBay. So, you know, for under 100 bucks, you're getting a pretty good, you know, practice amp. Uh, if you're looking for something that has all of the digital effects and bells and whistles, this is probably not something for you. You may want to look at one of the Fender Mustangs or the Voxes or the uh, uh, PVs that are out there. Um, Line 6s, they all have, uh, you know, digital amps with a lot of different effects in the $100, $150 price range. Um, but, again, if you're looking for a, a good, solid amplifier built very well, uh, that will an analog-based, that will give you, you know, Decent cleans and, and distorted sounds. I think the orange uh, Crush 12 is a good is a good option to look at. Um, I apologize for the audio quality on here. It's not the greatest. I realize that. Just wanted to give you a you know a basic feel. Um, if you have any questions regarding the features of this amplifier, questions regarding anything regarding the amplifier, just fire them below. I'll do my best to answer them as quickly as possible. And again, guys, if you like these uh, reviews and find them helpful, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And as always, until the next time, folks, everybody be well and stay safe. And I'll be seeing you soon. Thank you.